Cleanup continues for dozens of families today after yesterday's fire in East Price Hill. 44 people, including 24 children, had to get out. Many lost everything. Brad Underwood is in Norwood as efforts to help the families are underway. After Saturday's fire, numerous organizations are coming in to help the 44 people, mostly children, displaced by that fire. This gym here in Norwood is just one location. They're asking for specific donations on Monday and Tuesday. They need blankets and hygiene items. The Red Cross was quick to jump in Saturday, opening up an emergency shelter, providing caseworkers, a nurse, and mental health care professionals to help those in need. But so few families actually needed the shelter, the Red Cross closed it and put some of those families up in a hotel. Shortly after the fire, Alex Harbin of Iron Sharpens Iron Gym made a Facebook post calling for donations. All items collected will be delivered on Wednesday. The post also indicates donations are being collected through the Holy Family School over on Price Avenue, just down the street from the apartments that burned. It's difficult for the families, number one, because you know you have smoke damage, you have water damage, and so it takes it'll take time for them to get back into their units. And sometimes you don't think about that, but it is difficult on those families that are impacted like that. So, but I think the Red Cross does a nice job of at least trying to settle them in a in a different location until they can get their get back into their units there. At this point, it's unclear how many families are still staying in hotels. In East Price Hill, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Fire officials estimate the damage of the building to be about $75,000.